Hello everyone, it's Morris back here again. So here's uh, some interesting and exciting updates from the Axie Infinity Universe. And now Axie accessories are live in the sense that you can now get uh, Axie accessories. Um, so what's the actual news? So um, to get the accessories, you need to release Axies. Uh, between now until the January the 3rd, um, that's the next year, so 2023. So you have about two weeks um, to receive a limited edition holiday accessories. So um, there are some that are limited edition. Uh, I assume there are some that might not be limited editions. But there will be, um, oh, it doesn't say here, but there are 20 different accessories. Um, and uh, let's just scroll down and see what's uh, there. Mm, okay, so they first actually show you um, the two accessories that the whales can get. Basically, um, the top releaser will get this one, and then the second to the twentieth releases, uh, I assume it's by the number of axes, right? Will get the taro. Um, yeah, I would say Mr. Ube looks pretty, pretty cool, but taro just looks better for me. But I don't know. I just like taro more. Uh, but anyway. Uh, what they explain this is that it um, this kind of um, releasing mechanism or this accessory feature, I assume uh, in the future will also require um, Axie being released. So it's a proof that an Axie is released. Right? So meaning if you want to get accessories, especially cosmetic, then uh, you have to release Axies and this keeps the Axie uh, in check and with the population, right? So because now um, there's really no Axie sync um, other than the events that they had, the Lunation, is it the, the, the Lunar New Year event, basically. Um, but now uh, they will have more of this kind of events, and hopefully this will be a permanent feature where uh, accessory can just be you know obtained by releasing Axies. Uh, I'm not sure if that will be a permanent thing yet, um, but yeah, uh, we'll see. But for now, um, what the accessories do is, I assume there's no f um, so-called stats buff or anything for now. Not sure, maybe for land play there might be, but now it's, I think, purely cosmetic. And there are 20 of them here. And you can see that some of them have this uh, Christmas hat logo, and that probably, mean probably means that they are the... Uh, event specific ones uh, whereas the other ones are probably the general ones um, I don't think they say but that's why I assume um, and yeah, here is just telling you the different probabilities of getting the common, the rare, the epic and the mystic but I think this is actually the for me more, more interesting uh, line which I think pr probably could be missed by many people and that is that if you release uh, one axi you get a sticker in Origins, right? Assuming you play Origin, then yeah, this is a pretty good, you know, uh, getting a sticker. Uh, and if you release ten axes, you get an avatar. So uh, I would say this is like the sticker is definitely not uh, difficult to get uh, because you can just uh, go to the marketplace, get a floor axe for like two, three dollars, and then you'll get this. And if you have more money to spend. Then um, yeah, buy ten axes that you can release, and then yeah, you will get an avatar for maybe like thirty dollars. Um, yeah, so this is the official update, and I actually want to go into the page and see how it's like. So so far, we have uh, about eight thousand axes being released, and of course, it's only the very first what four hours or three hours. Um, hopefully, there will be more. Um, and if you haven't visited this page yet, I encourage you to do so. It's because you can actually see if you hover over each of the cosmetic, you can see um, that where it actually goes. Right? Uh, I actually like like the ones like the dragonfly where it just um, you know be flying on top of your axi as opposed to being uh, on top of your axi. Um, just because the, depending on which like what parts your axi have, then it might now some of them might not look good. Um, and I also don't know whether you can, uh, I, I guess, unequip. I assume you can definitely unequip and equip it again. So it's really just there. Um, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see whether these cosmetic will 
be featured in uh, Origins right, when you play the game and, and of course land play as well and, and other games that uses your Axie. I think this will be pretty cool but of course it adds quite a bit to the um, you know, the I guess files the size of the game and so on because you do have to implement all these and of course this is only the first 20 and there will be more to go as well um, yeah snowman is definitely the best one uh, but of course it's also the toughest to get Ooh, 0.27 percent yeah this is gonna be tough um, and probably gonna be s sold for quite a lot of money on the marketplace yeah one thing I forgot to mention is that these are all NFTs uh, after um, the first oh no, sorry, the third of January okay so after the January the third this will like the accessories will become NFT and it will be deposited basically in your uh, Ronin wallet and after that then you can basically equip them um, oh another interesting thing that's probably quite easy to miss is that each accessory actually has an ID so for example if you have a, obviously like 00001 then that that could you know sell for quite a bit uh, so the ID could make a difference as well uh, in terms of you know how uh, easy f um, to sell so I assume then if you release it now you probably get uh, 8,000 something which is still not bad right? it's similar to XE number in a way right if you have a lower XE number that could be a, you know a pretty good thing to have um, because later on down the road then maybe it can sell for quite a bit more um, yep so that is pretty much it for this particular event uh, if you just want to look at the leaderboard um, then yeah the top a releaser already resists wow well, 700 uh, axes that's pretty good but I would assume in the next uh, two weeks there might be more people releasing more so well let's see um, so I haven't been uh, making too many videos um, because there's just not many updates that are worth uh, making videos of but I do want to just quickly go through uh, what else has been happening in the XC world? So uh, one big one is Doll XC Doll. Um, this is a uh, kind of defender kind of game, which is quite fun. Uh, I haven't really played much of it, but I would encourage you to you know give it a go, and I'll probably play uh, some of it maybe on stream or something. Um, We'll see but the interesting part is that because now it is uh doll is already officially in the xc infinity ecosystem and so uh you do get some rewards so if you are into it then yeah like uh it could be something fun for you, uh, some challenge like to get into maybe top 50. um and oh another big update which uh i feel like it's not big enough for a, a particular video but it's worth mentioning is that Lunation that like, finally has a lore, right? So finally, the X universe uh, has a story behind it, and it's uh, a pretty pretty good video which I watched, and I um, highly recommend that you watch it if you are into Axie. Um And then, um, yeah, there are a lot actually of updates in terms of uh, well, not updates, but really the. Uh, reveals uh, or leaks or actually they call it leaks the reason being uh, these some of these might get changed so for example I think uh, eggshell and uh, Castro already got changed uh, from you know the, the, the leaks and so these are not finalized um, and they did have a town hall which releases some of the you know, updates of the leaks as well so uh, that's why I haven't really made uh, videos of these yet uh, but I am going to uh, slowly make uh, videos of each of the classes just to go through the new um, yeah cards runes and charms for each class so yeah stay tuned um, yeah it's gonna take a while just because uh, there are a lot to cover right basically cards runes and charms and of course the battle system is also updated so there's pretty much effectively like a, a new game um, yeah, so there's going to be quite a lot of videos about Season 2 that um, will be up, uh, which I'll make and upload on this channel. So um, that is pretty much it for this update. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed my video, do consider giving me a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, and use my Lenotian code MORRIS. Thanks again and have a good one.